Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to purchase cryptocurrencies from Binance. It's very, very easy to do. There is lots of different cryptocurrencies you can buy on here. Uh, the most popular now being like Dogecoin, uh, Cardano, VeChain. There's lots of different coins you can buy on here. So I'm going to show you guys basically what you guys need to do. Now, first things first, you have to have an account, obviously. So if you don't have an account already, just click on register now and then just fill in the information that you need to register. It is actually really easy to do. It just takes a couple minutes. If you guys need me to make a video showing you guys how to register, just let me know. I'll be happy to make one for you guys. Anyhow, once you have your account, you just want to log into it. Once you're logged in, you should be good to start. Now, the first thing you guys need to do is put money into your account. That is very easy as well. You do have a couple different options that you guys can do. And now if you just navigate over to buy crypto, you'll see up here, it says pay with. This will be the currency that you have in your native country. Uh, mine would be Canadian, uh, but it could be US dollar, British pound, euros, doesn't really matter. Um, but then you have to choose the option that you want to transfer in with. So there is credit and debit card, which is what I use because it's instantaneous. There's also bank transfer as well, but I know depending on what bank you guys have, it might take a little bit of time and that might affect what you're trying to do. Uh, but anyways, I would recommend using credit and debit if you guys have that option in your country. So what you guys need to do is just click on the credit or debit option or whatever option that you guys want to transfer in with. And then what I would recommend doing is when you transfer into Binance, I would transfer it into USDT. Uh, which is just going to be the tether option. It's just because it is more stable. It is less likely to receive a correction or anything like that when you're in the midst of buying coins where Bitcoin can be quite volatile sometimes. So I really recommend using USDT. So you just want to type in USDT here and then click on that. Once you guys do that, you just want to click on the amount of money that you want to put in. So let's just say if I wanted to put in $1,000, I can go in and type $1,000 and then it would convert it into USDT. So that would convert to 791.82. 82 USDT. Now, all you got to do is click on buy USDT here at the bottom. Once you guys do that, it will put that into your wallet so you're able to trade with it on the platform. So, once you guys do that, you can navigate over to trade right here. And you want to click on convert. Now, to buy Chainlink, it's very, very easy. You just want to make sure that the top from option is on USDT, just like I have right here. Once that is on USDT, you guys can go to the two option right here and just make sure this is on Chainlink. So you just want to search for a link and then you should be ready to go here. Now you have two options to purchase this. You could either type in the amount of USDT that you want to use. So let's just say if I want to do 150, I can do that. Or you guys can go to the bottom here and type in how much Chainlink you want to buy. Either way, it'll work the same way. So let's just say, for example, I wanted to buy five chain link. I can do that as well. And then you just want to click on preview conversion. This will then show you the conversion rate from USDT over to chain link. And as you guys see right here, uh, it'll cost me 195.23 USDT to purchase five chain link. Uh, obviously, right now it shows me I have an insufficient balance because I don't have any funds in this account. But either way that you guys do it, whether you type in the USDT or you type in the link, it doesn't really matter. It will just put the amount that you will get for that amount of currency. If you want to go through with the transaction and you have a the sufficient balance, you guys can just click on confirm at the bottom here where it says refresh for me, and that will put the chain link into your wallet where your USDT is currently sitting. Once you have it in your wallet, you can then transfer it over to a different wallet if you would like to, to keep it more secure. Uh, anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out showing you guys how to purchase chain link on Binance. If you guys want more videos showing you guys how to transfer it out uh, into different wallets, just let me know down below in the comment section. I'll be happy to make more videos showing you guys how to do that as well. Uh, anyways, I really hope I was able to help. Like I said, uh, be sure to leave a like on the video if this did help you out and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.